Immersion blenders are a great tool for smaller blending jobs or a fast way to blend pots of hot liquids with less mess. If you love a fast smoothie in the morning or making your own salad dressings, an immersion blender can be a handy tool that doesn't take up a lot of space and helps you get the job done. We tested 16 immersion blenders and found several that did well no matter what we threw at them, putting them closer in quality to some of the best countertop blenders out there. And be sure to check the video description for direct links to all products mentioned. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos reviewing to the latest products. Let's start with number nine, Hamilton Beach Immersion Hand Blender. The Hamilton Beach simplifies blending with its variable speed functionality controlled by a single trigger button. Press lightly for a slow start and harder for increased speed, providing an intuitive user experience. It includes a wire whisk attachment alongside the standard blending attachment, suitable for whipping egg whites and cream. While versatile in design, it requires hand washing as the parts are not dishwasher safe. Number eight, Ninja Foodi Power Mixer System. The Ninja is a versatile and efficient immersion blender, perfect for blending hot ingredients directly in the pot, making it ideal for smooth vegetable soups and purees. Its compact size and detachable blending arm ensure easy storage, even in small kitchens, and it effectively handles fibrous ingredients to deliver consistent textures. This model also converts into a hand mixer with included beaters for mixing cookie dough or cake batter and comes with a beaker and whisk attachment for whipping cream or mixing salad dressing, all of which are dishwasher safe. However, it is relatively loud and its heavy motor body can be tiring to hold during extended use. The additional attachments may not be useful for non-bakers. Despite these considerations, the Ninja Foodi Power Mixer system stands out for its multifunctionality and robust performance across various kitchen tasks, though more affordable options are available for those needing just a basic blender. Number six, Cuisinart Stick 2 Speed Hand Blender. The Cuisinart stands out as a beacon of simplicity and practicality in the realm of kitchen appliances. With just two speeds and no additional attachments, it offers a refreshingly straightforward blending experience. Unlike many immersion blenders boasting a plethora of features, this unit prioritizes functionality over frills. Its 200 watts of power provide ample horsepower for various blending tasks, from crafting pesto on the lower speed to whipping up smoothies and purees on the higher setting. Additionally, its lightweight design, tipping the scales at around a pound and a half, ensures effortless maneuverability in pots, bowls, and jars alike. This versatility extends to storage, seamlessly fitting into even the most compact of kitchen spaces. Number five, Nutribullet Immersion Blender. The best hand blender in the budget range we've tested is the Nutribullet. This simple blender doesn't come with accessories like a beaker or a pan guard. Still, its blending performance is comparable to pricier blenders. It makes a fairly smooth blend with fibrous vegetables like kale and broccoli, so it can produce well-blended soups and sauces. There's also a whisk included for making whipped cream or hollandaise sauce. Unfortunately, since it doesn't come with a beaker, you need to use your own container when you're not blending directly in a pot or pan. The blender is decently well-built and quiet but makes more noise when running, so you'll find the noise more irritating, especially when blending for several minutes. The detachable blending arm isn't dishwasher safe, but it's easy to clean by hand. Number four, Braun MultiQuick 5. If you want something a little more compact, consider the Braun. This well-built model is the lightest on the list, so you might prefer it if you use your immersion blender often and sometimes find it tiring to hold on to. The blending arm is quite short, limiting if you need to blend in deep pots, but also easier to store in a kitchen drawer. It comes with a whisk attachment for making whipped cream and salad dressing. There's also a 20-ounce beaker included to use for blending. The blending arm makes a reasonably smooth puree with stubborn elements like kale. The narrow blade guard makes ice crushing almost impossible, but it can power through thicker mixtures and produce smooth nut butter or hummus. It's not very loud and is easy to clean by hand. However, the KitchenAid is better for processing fibrous ingredients. Cooked ingredients are easier to blend, so you may not notice as much of a difference in recipes like soups, but the brawn isn't ideal for silky blueberry or kale smoothies. Number three, Breville Control Grip Immersion Blender. The Breville shines with 15 speed settings and standout features. Its unique blade guard reduces splatter and makes blending easier. With a comfortable grip and non-stick edge, it's a joy to use. The 42-ounce mixing jar, though spacious, may need extra handling for smaller portions. 
The lid also serves as an anti-slip mat. This model includes dishwasher safe food processor and whisk attachments. Number two, KitchenAid two-speed hand blender. This immersion blender had the lowest watts of those that listed watts at 220, but performed well at all tasks. There are two speeds and you need both hands to adjust the speed while in use, but otherwise was easy to use with one hand. It has a rubberized and contoured handle so it was comfortable to hold and use. Its two thin blades are housed in a deep housing that made it slightly more difficult to clean by hand than other models, but all pieces other than the motor handle are dishwasher safe. This model only came with a blending cup. It blended the soup in 1 minute and 45 seconds and didn't take a lot of moving around to blend smoothly. There was no splatter or suction which made this feel very easy to use. Mayonnaise took about 45 seconds in the provided cup and was very easy to make. The blending shaft is a little difficult to use as it is a twist off, but once you get the hang of it, it comes off pretty easily. Number one, Vitamix Immersion Blender. This blender felt nice in the hand and was super easy to use. This unit clocked in with highest watts at 625, but was surprisingly quiet. When you first turn this blender on at any power level, it starts slow and then gets to speed, which is really great for blending hot liquids and for control for more delicate preparations like the mayonnaise. This model was the only one that had four blades, which made it slightly more challenging to clean, but it was worth the effort for the blending power. We found it very easy to change speeds while blending, and this model easily operates with one hand. So you can be sure to be securing the vessels of whatever you are blending with the other hand. This unit has five speeds, which gave it a nice level of control and comes with no attachments, but did come with an instruction booklet with some recipe ideas and smoothie ideas. Let me know in the comments which Immersion Blenders is your favorite. If you found this video helpful, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more product reviews and recommendations. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.